Today we are learning about physical and chemical changes. Now, a physical change is a change in the size, shape, or state of matter of a substance. The important thing is that in a physical change, no new substance is being created. Take this piece of paper, for example. If you grabbed a pair of scissors and cut the paper in half, well, now the paper would be a different shape, but it's still just paper. You haven't created any new substance, and so cutting is just an example of a physical change. Here's another. No matter what you do to this ball of slime, whether you pull it, push it, twist it, or bend it, it's still just a ball of slime. So pushing, pulling, bending, and twisting are all just examples of physical change. Here's another. If you take an ice cube and put it on a hot pan, you can see it quickly melt into a puddle of water. But even though the puddle looks very different than the ice cube, they're both just types of water. No new substance is being created, and so the melting of an ice cube is just a physical change. In contrast, a chemical change is a change in which one kind of matter changes into a different kind of matter. Say instead of cutting the paper, we decided to take a candle and burn the paper. Well, as you watch the paper burn, what you're seeing happen is a chemical change. A new substance is being created. When you burn paper, the paper is turning into both ash, which you might see on the floor, and the smoke that you see going up in the air. And because paper is turning into these new substances, this is an example of a chemical change. Here's another one you've probably seen before. Fireworks are an example of a chemical change. Fireworks are made by taking an explosive powder like this and lighting it on fire. This turns it into the bright gases and explosions you see in the air. And because the powder is turning into these exploding gases, this is an example of a chemical change. Now here is one more you're definitely familiar with. You can watch as we pour baking soda into a cup of vinegar. Do you see all those bubbles filling the cup? That's a gas or a new substance being created. And because something new is being created, this is an example of a chemical change. Now there's some signs or clues we can look for to tell if a chemical change has taken place. First, you can look for a change in color, like we saw with the fireworks, where the dark powder turned into bright explosions. You can also look to see if the change produced a smell. Another clue is if it releases gas, like we saw happening during that baking soda and vinegar reaction. Finally, you can look for a change in temperature. And we're not talking about temperature that changes the state of matter. We're talking about if you do something and it releases a lot of heat, like an explosion. Let's look at some of these together. Watch as this person cracks an egg into a bowl. Well, which of the following clues for a chemical change do you see happening? Well, the color is not changing, there's no smell released, there's no gas released, and the temperature is not changing. In fact, all that's happening is we're sh changing the shape and size of the egg. So cracking an egg is an example of a physical change. What about when we put that egg on a pan and start to cook it? Well, what sides of a chemical change do you see happening here? You can see that the color is changing as the egg goes from clear to white. Also, if you are standing in the room, you could probably smell the egg because it's producing a smell. These clues show us that cooking an egg is a chemical change. What about this? Watch as this person swings an axe and cracks this piece of wood in half. What type of change is this? Well, nothing new is being created. The log is just being split into two pieces. And changing the shape or size of something is an example of a physical change. Now, here's one more. This is a close-up video of metal rusting. It takes place over several days. What clues do you see happening here? Well, you can see a change in color as the metal becomes red and brown, and this is a clue that the rusting of metal is a chemical change. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Watch as this person smashes an ice cube. What type of change is taking place? Well, all this person is doing is changing the size and shape of an ice cube. This is a physical change. What about this? What change is happening when you burn wood in a fireplace? Well, you can see that the wood is changing color. It's becoming white and black as it burns. This is also releasing a lot of heat. These are some indicators that this is a chemical change. What about this? When you boil a pot of water on the stove, what type of change is happening? Well, when you boil water, the liquid is turning into a gas. But changing the state of matter is not creating a new substance. 
A change in the state of matter is just a physical change. And now here's one last one. When I cut this cucumber into thin slices, what type of change is happening? Well, this one was pretty clear. Nothing new is being created. All that's happening is the shape of the cucumbers changing. This is an example of a physical change. So from today, remember, physical changes are changes in size, shape, or the state of matter. But with a physical change, no new substance is created. In contrast, a chemical change is a change where one type of matter changes into a different type of matter.